So, hi everyone, and welcome to our Pips Cast. Hello. So it's a slightly different Pips Cast today. This series that we're starting is called our Out and About Pips Casts. Um, and yeah, um, tell us a little bit about them. Yeah, well we often get asked, why did you choose Portugal? What is it that you like about it? And we've talked about that for, for many um well, we've talked about that many times, mm -hmm. and what we are interested in are other people's ex experiences, you know, experiences yeah. what they have um, gone through in their journey to where they are here in Portugal. Mm -hmm. So we are spending some time today with Morton. Hello. 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 And uh, we're just going to sort of have a chat and get to know him and his experiences of ending up here in his beautiful home in mm -hmm. Portugal. Mm -hmm. So, would you like to introduce yourself? Yeah, then? my name is Morten and, well, Morten Jort, you get the last name as well. And I'm also a YouTuber. I have been doing YouTube since 2014, but I also have a full-time job where I do server and storage at a large company. And that's also what I mainly do on my YouTube channel is uh, tech related, uh, a lot of server and storage and networking and other technical stuff, plus some Portugal stuff now and then because mm -hmm. I'm here from now and then. So lovely. Yeah. 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 And you, you do lots of reviews of tech and yeah and if something kind of... interesting comes by the inbox and <laughs> i can't say no to whatever this nice company is offering me to review i am <clears throat> I'm, I'm a week so there i i give them the benefit of the doubt and have a look at their stuff you help everybody else yeah <laughs> and form an it's... opinion <laughs> <laughs> yeah. and i try to um to do as good a job as I can and not be too impressed when it's not too great. Mm -hmm. mm, very good. Yeah. yeah. But I think what you do is you, you put it at like a very human level because it's mm. it, you look at it, how it benefits you and what it does for you kind yeah, of thing, I, don't you? Yeah, I usually only get stuff that I can see a use for. I, I, I talk about a win-win-win. There has to be something in it for the audience, the company and for me. Yeah. So, and if one of them is missing, it better be me, <laughs> because the audience and the company, I want to make sure that they are happy with it. Yeah. If I get anything out of it, okay, it's it's, it's mm -hmm. a win-win-win then. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Excellent. Because um, because we often get asked to do things with like pet clothing and pet jewelry, and it yeah. doesn't really sit no, with no. us. No. So. Did you mention yeah. your YouTube channel name? Oh, no, I didn't. Um, my YouTube channel name is called My Playhouse. Yeah. And it's called My Playhouse because I thought that I was going to be making videos about renovating my old project house back in Denmark. Um, but then one day I brought the camera with me to work and that seemed that everybody thought that was way more interesting. So after that, <laughs> it was server and st storage stuff right okay. right great excellent i will of course put a link in the description uh to morton's uh youtube channel mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. so give it a look much appreciated <laughs> so how long have you been here how long have you um i bought this house back in october last year uh late october and <coughs> since then i've been here for about 10 14 days every second month so mm -hmm. I want to see all the seasons down here, mm -hmm. except I'm jumping over high summer because I don't hear good things about that. And yeah. being a Viking from Denmark, we melt <laughs> in this kind of sun. So it's... Oh dear. <laughs> oh. So can you just tell us a little bit about sort of what were your expectations when you started looking for your, your property? What Did you have something in mind? Was there like a reason for that? I think like so many others, I was at home doing the COVID and looking at, there was a few Portuguese English speaking channels at that point and I was mm -hmm. just dreaming away, especially when it was terrible weather back in Denmark, which is most of the time. Mm -hmm. um, 
and wanting to uh, to go and experience that. And as soon as it opened up, I actually did that. I took my first trip to Portugal and I met uh, Cindy Vine, who mm-hmm. you also have uh, met. And I didn't get to see much houses that time, but I, I found out where the real estate agent was. And, <laughs> and then I went back home and then I came again and again and again to, uh, yeah. to look at more houses. Good. Mm. Lovely. So were we are sort of we are looking for something. Did you think? Did you have something in mind? Was the? Did you want to get something out of it? I was all over the place of what I wanted. Sometimes I wanted just a bare piece of land and do everything from scratch. Hmm. And yeah, then when I came here, I could see oh that might not actually be what I want. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I ended up going for. Ended ended up going for a more done and finished solution, which mm-hmm. you will apparently see later in the video. <laughs> That's yeah. right, yeah. and it's beautiful as well. Yeah. yeah, and I got a house that was ready to move into. Everything mm. was working. Everything was painted and fine and nice and that's also an option that you can get in Portugal. You don't have to do everything yourself. Mm-hmm. And yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Great. So Clearly, you're not sort of resident here. It's not your full-time abode. No, no. no. I am a Danish citizen, and I, I live there most of the time. And now I come here so mm-hmm. often as I can, um, which is right now uh, every second month. Mm-hmm. I have a full-time job that I really like, and so I, I need to keep up with that. Mm-hmm. And yeah, But I spend all my vacation down here, and I work over hours do you call it that uh, yeah yeah, over time. I, under, yeah over I understand time, what you yeah, mean to, by to, it yeah mm-hmm. to get more time down here so i mm-hmm. i can do that and uh, that works out really well plus this time when i've been here i've actually been working a little bit from down here uh, you just need an internet connection when you're in it <laughs> and he's the man to sort it out so yeah we can probably give you like a, a little idea of um what you've done because yeah I have my crazy project yeah you've done a a project while you've been here haven't you yeah Yeah. Mm -hmm. so why did you choose Portugal perhaps over anywhere else yeah I I was actually looking at all sorts of stuff in the coronavirus sitting at home uh, doing that Mm. and um, I was looking at getting an auto camper building a camper Getting a boat, I was also looking at yards, small ones, mm-hmm. and um, then I came on to this Portugal thing. Uh, but I actually looked at a list of the most safest and stable countries in the world, which was um, the, the list came Iceland was the first one. Iceland is very cold, so hmm. yeah, that's gonna do that. <laughs> the second one was New Zealand, very far away. Yes. Yep. Third one was Denmark, been there, done that. <laughs> Fourth one was Portugal, and Portugal it was. Yeah, right. yeah. It, it, that's something similar that we did, isn't it? We, yeah, yeah. we sort of saw all of the information that was coming out about how safe it is, whether you... Mm. Yeah. I mean, probably in the big cities there might be a difference, mm. but yeah. it's still... One you the, want somewhere where you yeah. can have, where you can sit your car and forget to lock it, and it's yeah. still there in the morning, and... And everything yeah. in it as well. Everything in it as well. Yeah. Yeah, yeah mm-hmm. that's exactly Absolutely. the situation with us, yeah. isn't it? We've left mm-hmm. some things in the car overnight and then <laughs> realised the next morning that we've left them there, but they're still there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah uh-huh. it's excellent. And, but... and nobody bothers. No, and no. Nobody even comes by and tries to no. check if the door is open or no, locked. That's true. Yeah. It's a good place. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And what we've also found is like our neighbours, because we live in a, a tiny, tiny village similar hmm. to yourself, and you know the name of everyone and yeah. so if somebody new comes it's always <laughs> just a little yeah ah, okay mm-hmm. yeah they're yeah. just passing through that's yeah. fine that's okay i had only been here a day where until the previous owner uh, sent me a message is it you that is here we see that the, <laughs> the blinds are up so mm-hmm. <laughs> very were, good they were keeping mm-hmm. it uh, look out for me too Mm. oh that's good Uh, no because I think um, the other reason that we chose was once we'd visited a few times the people mm. are very open and very friendly 
and if you just give them a smile and a wave then that's like the start mm -hmm. to to getting in and having conversation with them and mm. then you become a little bit more accepted and a little bit more accepted what have you found mm. i actually have a little secret for you mm. behind the scene he does all the talking <laughs> <laughs> yeah. and elaine is very quiet but when the camera's rolling Daryl here becomes very quiet. I can't get a word in. I do try. I try to sneak something in every now and again. But uh, I will. Off camera, he's just rambling around. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. I think no, it's no. something to do with that. Oh, let's, let's see if he keeps that in. It's nothing to do with that. It's not. No, you're, you're quite comfortable, aren't you? I am, but I can't yeah. get a word in edgeways. No. That's not true. As if. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So we have lots of things that we love about living here. Um, mm -hmm. Is there anything in particular that you really latched on to since you've been here that you uh, enjoy about living in Portugal? I really like the weather mm -hmm. when it's not too warm mm. and the fact that it's safe and you can drive anywhere and people drive reasonably on the road you can go into shops you don't have to haggle about the prices mm -hmm. the right. prices on the product and you should be it's it's like at home very far along the way so that's very nice um yeah i like the fact that it's things are good here mm -hmm. and mm. you, not well there is a bureaucracy Mm. Yeah, yes. they are a little yeah. bit behind on on that sort of stuff. If you mm -hmm. buy a house and you need something done with the house, just have a water into yeah. your house. So yeah. It can be a hassle to get that. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, but it gets done in the end, and you don't have to bribe anyone. Yeah. Right, right. Ish. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, we, we didn't. didn't no, no, no. But it's absolutely right. It did take. So I'm going to get a word in here. <laughs> so it did actually take a little bit longer. We were told, you know, the water will take. Oh, it will just be a week. So it took about three or four weeks. But yeah, but you're absolutely right. These things just take that little bit longer sometimes. But it, but it happens. But but then they said, oh, it's going to be two weeks, and then they arrived the next day. Yeah. So mm -hmm. you you know you kind of for one thing takes longer, for another thing it's mm. a lot quicker. And I think in the middle. If yeah, somewhere in the middle, then that's pretty perfect. Yeah. Yeah. It's and we good. were just setting off this morning when our um, one of the matriarchs of our village came out, and Clara was got to practice our Portuguese. Uh -huh. She was she was sort of saying, "Since you've got your water in, mine's not working very well." So we were like, "Oh no, we yeah. <laughs> we have, what so, have we done? What have we done?" But. That, something's happening. Yeah, something. But what we sort of figured that um, there, there are two water pipes coming down the main street. One is the municipal one that we've been joined to yeah. and has the, the the water. And the other is the spring water that her and her family put in. Mm. Yeah. And she seems to have lost, lost a lot that. of pressure yeah. on, um, on that. But did, did they dig it up? We they, they dug half so. of the street yeah. up, yeah. so, yeah. We're, so we know have... we definitely haven't got her spring water because we can smell like the the treated the chlorine, chlorine oh. in it. Mm -hmm. okay. But um, yeah, so sometimes it works really fast, and sometimes it's really <laughs> slow. Yeah, yeah. Can... But if it works fast, then sometimes it can be a problem. Things yeah. work here. I, uh, I broke yeah. my teeth. You know mm -hmm. about this. Mm -hmm. uh, in the weekend and Monday, I went to the dentist and. Uh, the girl at the counter, she spoke a bit of English, so I could get an appointment to have my teeth fixed the the next day, and that worked out well. Yeah. Uh, except I was like, uh, what <laughs> yeah, do you call that? Numb. 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 You, you were totally. numb. They apparently anesthesia is very cheap here. They <laughs> used plenty, mm -hmm. <laughs> and I visited you, and I was totally numb. Yeah. <laughs> There's mm. a video coming out about that. <laughs> yes. Yeah, there is. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Uh, so, is, is there anything that you you dislike about being here, or is there anything that you would? I, I wouldn't say want to change because I don't. I don't think I can change anything. Yeah, yeah. No. it's <laughs> like when you get a deal with someone. I uh, had washing machine delivered, and oh, we'll come in the morning. Apparently, one o'clock in the afternoon is the morning mm. in Portuguese mm. time. Oh, so. yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's, that's, it I'm not used to that. Could either be the next day as well, yeah. yeah. Uh, we'll, like, be complaining if the bus is more than two minutes late. 
Yeah. <laughs> That's but right. It's exactly so happened. much more relaxed. And, yeah, you got to get into it. Do you want to go and check I'm on Max? I'm going to have to go and check on Max. Yeah. Do you want to, shall we continue on? Okay. Yeah, we don't need him. We, he doesn't say a thing He anyway. doesn't say anything, does he? He's very quiet. No. Um, something that I'm really interested in is getting out and visiting different places in Portugal. Mm. So I don't know if you've had the opportunity because you're not here permanently. And, but I'm, I have seen you in your videos. Yeah, You've been out I, I visit all the YouTubers in the area. <laughs> so that's like, and there's plenty of YouTubers <laughs> in plenty. this part of Portugal, central Portugal, around Castelo Branco. Um, yeah, so I visited you the mm -hmm. other day and Cindy and Nick and Andrea and Leah and Martin. Yeah. And yeah. I think that might be just about it, but mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> no, but we, we love having days out and just sort of, because we can, we can just pack a picnic, get ourselves in the car and we have no ties on our time. So if there was one place in Portugal, you know, and you could tell somebody who's never been there, is there anywhere that you would say, you've got to go here? Um, I would say, Try the smaller road through the mountains mm -hmm. because when you drive the highway, it's very pretty, no doubt about it. But if you get off the toll roads yeah. and kind of drive cheaply, you get out of the, in, on the small roads and it has awesome scenery, yeah. especially from someone that comes from a flat land, a right. flat country. Going up into the mountains. Going up into the mountains. Um, it's so pretty. Yeah. Uh, but I haven't found anything. Well, I found a picnic place that I really liked. I thought, oh, I wish I had someone to take here for a picnic. Mm -hmm. It was like awesome marble picnic tables with, with a shading built yeah. and a view, wonderful view out of the mountains. I thought, wow, this is well made. Yeah. So. And there's, there's quite a few as well because we, on our way here, we must have passed at least two or three just on the roadside because we weren't on the, like you say it weren't out on the toll roads mm. um and they're quite often they have the fountain on the side and the vines are all just growing up at this time of year R right so now the it's shade all green and, and yeah, stuff. yeah it's, it's looking it's really nice. really beautiful yeah. isn't it yeah I, I use the toll roads the, the motorway a lot because when i'm only here for a little time when i need to go into the city i i, yeah. I do that and i it, it's like like time precious journeys yeah yeah and then when i don't have or uh, when i have time i take the smaller roads mm -hmm. to uh, to see what else is out there and just practicing getting around here without the sat nav <laughs> yeah well, <laughs> that, that's always if, we, if we've done a journey once with the sat nav and then we do it again and we can remember and not get lost then we're like yep that's a win <laughs> Ching. <laughs> <laughs> yeah um so, would you have any advice for people who are watching this and are thinking about making this kind of... I know you're not here permanently, mm. but you know, um, you've, you've made a big commitment to Portugal and to yourself here. Would you give any advice to people thinking about a similar thing? Um, yeah, I look at different stuff. Um, not just a lot of houses, but also different sort of houses mm -hmm. like you bought a one heck of a project yeah and so did other youtubers they bought very big projects you don't have to buy a project you if you don't want a big project you can mm -hmm. actually get something that is livable and come here and enjoy yourself yeah and um, there is that option too uh, yeah. It's fascinating to watch the YouTube channels with people struggling with no power <laughs> and no water and bathing sun and but it's not always happy times. It's not no, <laughs> yes, we we've often said But that, it makes uh, good YouTube videos. Yeah, definitely. For sure. And thank you. It might be a little bit more boring here because I don't have the same projects. I don't need to collect my rainwater and I don't need to. No, no. Uh, uh, but it it's I don't it's possibly a perception that people have that Portugal is perhaps a step behind the rest of Europe 
but mm. it's not the case really it's just you sometimes youtube will lead you down a rabbit hole won't it and yeah. you have sort of quickly shown us around your, your lovely home and as you say it was ready just to move into and you can have as much or as little yeah there was even a bed with bedding and pillows and yeah running water gas and warm water in the shower and it was it didn't have internet I, need, I needed to fix that <laughs> i needed internet so <laughs> so it wasn't perfect but it, it was pretty near i've been working on that one <laughs> so yeah i think that's pretty much um as enough chatting from us darren's still out trying to um Negotiate figure out what yeah, what Max was yeah. was after. So what we would like to do is a quick two minute tour around Morton's, as I said, really nice home. Um, it's lovely when you walk in because it's all tiled and I've got some aspirations. So I'm, yeah. I'm looking and feeling the, the... It looks nice and tiled until you want to wash it because these are tiles meant for, uh, they had a dog. Right. So there are tiles that has a bit of grip to them, oh, so which also takes the cloth when you oh. want to wash it. So that's <laughs> oh. <laughs> so if you if you spill something and you want to wash them off with yeah. a bit of tissue, you have tissue everywhere. Yeah, just grit. <laughs> well, yeah, I guess yeah. that's a first world problem. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Yeah, but thank you very much for your time. You've been very hospitable. We're going to go and have a quick look around and probably find out what's happening with Max as well. Yeah, and I did a video together with uh, Darren and Ali, Elaine, Elaine. <laughs> <laughs> and um, visited them last. Mm -hmm. uh, that was a couple of days ago, yeah, and I'll be posting that on my channel within a week or so. Yeah, I think this will go out a week today. So, great. Thank you very much. I'll um, click those and... I have got a lot of space envy, finish envy, especially the lovely cool tiles that we were just talking about. So, I'm making little mental notes as I go around of, yeah. of things. The house is actually built on a mountain, so there is different heights here because yeah. it was too much work to remove the mountain. So when you go into the kitchen here, you, you have a few steps up. So you're actually walking up the mountain. Uh -huh. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> but it's, it gives you so much more interest, doesn't it? Yeah, I thought it yeah. was features, uh, but I see if someone arrives in a ro uh, wheelchair, it would be a negative yeah, a feature. Bit. Yeah, so. yeah. Uh -huh. This is my kitchen. I think it's very British. <laughs> it is, yes. yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, it was a British couple that had this house and uh, if anyone wants to buy a house in Portugal, it's a very good thing to find a British couple because prices are more reasonable. It's as if the Portuguese think that they are sitting on a gold mine. Yeah, so, uh, and but loads of space, loads, loads of space, of space and, and all the appliances, yep, everything even has a washing machine, a uh, <laughs> dishwasher it's called, and I haven't tried it yet because I'm just on your own and you only one using one plate. dish and oh um, no you have to have a party and then you can practice then i can the use dishwasher. the dishwasher yeah, yeah. So. but lots of lovely light as well haven't you because it's all round you've got good aspect all there's the way around led lights in the ceiling everywhere and there's plenty mm -hmm. so it's yeah. lovely and down here we have the, the dialings Dining dining setup, which is yes. the temporary Pipscast <laughs> studio, <laughs> studio one. <laughs> and over here is a door out to the garden mm -hmm. because there was there's a project to actually extend the house if, um, if I would want to do that. Yeah, so. but it's got a lovely airy, cool feel to it because you've got the big thick walls as well. Haven't there is, you? Yeah. yeah. It takes a while to heat that up in winter. It yeah. takes it takes a good week. To really warm the house up. Yeah. It, it heats it up in four hours, but as soon as you turn off power, uh, the heat again, it cools down really fast. Right. So, yeah. Um, and different levels again, which just I think just adds a lot of interest, and I like all the the yeah. built-in storage that you've got. Yeah. And it's a four bedroom. Four, four bedroom, bedrooms. two bathrooms. Um, bathroom and in the master bedroom I guess and yeah. then there's a main 
a bathroom with a tub and yeah. a shower. Cool. Yeah. Very nice. The heating? Uh, yeah, it's a pallet, pallet burner. So uh, put in your pallets and um, plop in power, press the button and it heats. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. Very uh, convenient. <laughs> yeah, it's convenient. But not necessarily efficient, you were saying, for the size of the, the property. It heats up the, the living room and the kitchen very well. It doesn't really go and heat up the, the, the bedrooms. Okay. So mm -hmm. I had my mom and my mom's husband here and I had to buy a little electric heater because it got rather chilly, chilly. Mm -hmm. yeah. at the guest bedroom. Mm. Is that the one farthest away That's as well? That's the one furthest away, Keep but nearest to the away. bathroom. So. Yeah, cool. We want to see that. Okay, yeah, we'll go through. Mm -hmm. So this is the, the guest bedroom and it's right opposite the bathroom. Yeah. I'll pop it. Okay. Nice and spacious. Nice, yeah. The lovely size of wooden doors house. on all of the doors. Yeah, the yeah. doors are lovely. The theme. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They don't have locks though, except the bathroom here has a lock. But when you're on your own, you don't really need it. Yeah, it's, when it's just me, it doesn't matter. But yeah, when, yeah. when you have someone here, you kind of want to... Keep your foot against the door. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so this was a nice selling point when I was looking at the house. It, uh, that it had a really nice looking bathroom mm -hmm. with uh, a top. And behind here is the, is the shower thing. Mm -hmm. Which Darren can't oh, see. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they walk in shower. Yeah. 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 We will eventually get a bathroom. <laughs> Just not. I haven't got one yet. Well, I am getting a little bit of uh, bathroom envy. I must be honest. Yes. Oh. Yes. Oh, lovely. Yeah, lovely. Shall we have a quick look outside and sort of see oh, how it's... Yeah, yeah they all need to see this artwork here. <laughs> Boom is where your router is, or where my router is. <laughs> <laughs> so you were telling us earlier that your property is, is like a slice of cake. Is it, it yeah. sort we of are, triangular? We are at the white uh, side of the cake and then it points upwards towards my mountain up there. Yep. Which Daryl will turn around and see. Yeah. <laughs> And it runs up, up the line, the tree yeah, line. Yeah, the tree line is uh, just about where my property line goes. And it goes all the way to the top. And I have uh, like five meters up there yeah. with a wonderful view all the way around. So that's fantastic. But it's quite the hassle to get up there. <laughs> There's yeah. like a 26% uh, incline. Yeah, incline. I was yeah. going to say elevation, but it's the same, yeah. Yeah. So uh, when I get up there, I'm huffing and puffing. <laughs> <laughs> and you need your five meters just to chill out and have a rest. I need to yeah. bring a chair up there and cool beer. Mm. Mm -hmm. So you were telling us that your, your project that you've been working on on this visit yeah, is situated I, up there. I found out that the nearest cell tower is on the other side of my mountain. So what I did was I got a, a dish, a uh -huh. 4G router dish to point at the cell tower and then uh, send that signal down to my house which yeah. is right now uh, outside the kitchen so that has been my project getting good internet and uh, getting almost 40 megabytes per second download and 20 upload so yeah it's pro quite an improvement because the other internet connection was a thing out the window and and on the wrong side of the house and the wrong as well. side of the house pointing somewhere over there so yeah so you were quite the man to, to do that mm. with all your I tech enjoyed background. That. And there is no power up there, so um, solar panel and battery is needed up there. So mm -hmm. I do go a little off grid there. Excellent, <laughs> excellent. No, and it's still lovely and green as well, which is, is really uplifting, I think, because it's been so dry and so warm this year. A lot of places are starting to look quite it, brown. It they? has gotten very dry since I came here, like, 
10 days ago, 12 yeah. days ago. Uh, it has dried out a lot. It was a lot greener just a few weeks back. Yeah, yeah. We've noticed a lot as well. So. Want to continue around? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, I have a dog kennel in here. <laughs> yeah. At the moment, I only have a uh, Max visiting. Just <laughs> <laughs> very, very nice place to, uh, to have. Yeah, Max has been well taken care of. With his own yeah. shade, his own space. Mm -hmm. A big selling point is, of course, the view. And as I said, coming from a country that is flat like a pancake, you don't get this in Denmark. So this is just wonderful. I've always wanted one of those and now I know why. It's so convenient just to put the clothes in there and set the program, press a button and then three hours later you take the dried clothes out and put it back in the cupboard. Oh, you have all the mod cons. Yeah. And we have a, a tub <laughs> and a, a pair of hands and yeah. a washing line. Yeah. But, uh, but I love the, um, the big fig tree. It's quite a feature and uh, it's got a lot of fruit on as well. I still don't know if I like these. I don't remember ever getting one. Yeah. There is fruit on it. There is, yeah. Still a little immature, but yeah. Maybe there. next time. I, I think I'll be back here in September. I think that might hopefully be there. That yeah. they're done. Otherwise, someone else will have. <laughs> We'll the have birds. the benefit. Ah, uh -huh. <laughs> uh, seven olive trees. Seven? Seven, I'm sure. I haven't counted them, but I believe that. Not I, ready to be a farmer of olives No, then. I don't really like olives, so <gasps> my problem. <laughs> <laughs> well, they cast nice shade and they, they're really yeah, it's, perfect it's, in the setting. It's aren't better they? than having nothing. So Definitely, uh, yeah. I need to prune them at some point. Yes. We, we know how to do that. <laughs> I've seen plenty of videos on how yeah. to do that. I just need to do it mm. and get rid of all the stuff that is... Yeah, all the excess. Yeah. And some oak trees as well. You've got some nice oaks. So, yeah. beautiful. Well, I think we'll leave it there. That's been really kind of you to let us come and have a look around. Max is ready to wander off. So thank you very much for your time. It's been a pleasure to have you. Hope you thank had a you. good look around. Thank you very much. Yep. So we'll say bye for now and we will see you on the next one. Take care everyone. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye.